people who are here, in fact, who people who live in Pakistan are probably unaware of this population. So how did you go about identifying that this is the area, these are the areas that I need to focus on or target? Mm. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it happens when you when you are walking, you are at, you are at, 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 at a crossroad, not crossroad, but at Y cross. So you have two paths. One path is very neat and clear, heavily traveled. Most of the people follow that. Another path is less traveled, no gravel, nothing. Because 99.9% .9 of people, they, they took that path, which is more clear and visible. But I took the other path. Yeah. I took the other path. Okay, let's try. Nobody traveled this path. Let's see what happens. So when I traveled that path, the very first challenge I had, how do I identify the children? So instead of going through the physical, the traditional method, I first looked at it, uh, how technology can help. Mm -hmm. How I can identify those species. What would be the best? I knew, the, I knew the, uh, that there are kids, but how to identify it? So that is the technology part. But before I implement the technology, I used my social media and uh, I looked around uh, the people living in that part of the world. So starting from scratch, I found few people living in the remote area. When I started this project, um, after a year, people, they got to know that, oh, something is happening. Then they approached me, mm -hmm. then I worked with them. Then we learn every single day, we learn how we can entrench uh, in these communities, how we can reach out these communities. We found local people, local organizations, technology, social media. But now, Alhamdulillah, it's been like six, it's been a seven year now. Now mm -hmm. we are on auto. Now people, they are approaching us and they know that the Takmil is an organization who are providing education in the remote area of the Pakistan. And uh, we are collaborating with some local organization. So, but this is very, very small number of children we are serving at the moment. But if you are looking at the 30 million children, we don't know where, even government of Pakistan, they don't have the data. Yeah, that's what and I would think. Pakistan, they don't have the, they have the data. Okay, this house has, this house is getting financial aid from government of Pakistan, but they don't have the data, like from where they, uh, how many children are there. Yeah. So we are working on some app, which can identify that this house has potential number of uh, out of school children in the remote area. So a large population of uh, these students still remains unidentified, basically. Yes. So the other thing, uh, which I think everybody would want, would like to understand is the model. How, what is the setup? How do you actually ma do this remote learning? You know, how, mm -hmm. how does it actually happen? Yeah. So when I was working in this model, I, I learned two things. One is... Um, the brain, uh, the child brain is developed in 90% brain developed in first five years and next 10% uh, uh, developed in next five years. So within 10 years, uh, a human brain develops. After that, it's just a matter of training. So mm -hmm. we are following the traditional teaching method. For example, it's a 400 years teaching method that you your five years can go to first grade, six years can go to seventh and third and fourth. But the science says that the our brain is developed at the age of five, 90%. Mm. Well, so if your brain is dwell, then it's, when does it mean? It means that uh, it's a just matter of training. If you can train your brain, you can learn whatever you want to learn. For example, you don't know how to how to cook biryani. You don't know how to drive um, uh, a bike. You don't know how to swim. Even if, if you are at the age of 35 or 40, you try to cook biryani first time, you will mess up. You will try again, you will mess up. Third time, fourth time, a fifth time, you will learn, okay, I need this amount of rice, this amount of spicy, this amount of flame, everything in the timing, and you learn it. Mm -hmm. So it means that you are training your neural network. Now, your neural network at the age of 35 and a child neural network at the age of five, they work in the same manner because his brain is already dwell. which means that if I can train the neural network, they can learn. So these children are between the age of five and 14. Mm -hmm. They already missed the school bus. You cannot teach them. So I squeeze the fifth grade, first to fifth grade curriculum in one year. Uh -huh. And I develop the whole curriculum. So the technology which I use, if, if I can show you, I put all the curriculum in this small box. This wow. is Raspberry Pi. 
this Raspberry Pi has each and everything in here. All mm -hmm. the curriculum, lesson plan, assessment, everything is there. Then I power it up with solar panel. So okay. this is my school. Mm -hmm. Think this is the school. This is a brick and mortar school. It has five grades of education, even right. eight grades of education. <laughs> The magic box. It's uh, it doesn't have uh, uh, electricity, so I power it with the solar energy, right? Mm -hmm. Then I hook hook it up with this projector, right? Okay. So I put this box and I hook it up projector and I transfer the signal on the wall. Mm. So my delivery is done. So it has mathematics, English, science, STEM education, everything, and the. And the lesson plan is delivered on the wall. My next question is, if I can deliver, then students are sitting there, they are watching all the videos based on their curriculum. But how do I know that what did they learn? Yeah, they I have so I created a Android application and I gave them a small tab, right? So they pick this tab and they connect to this red this box using uh, uh, Bluetooth. And they can log into this box using, and they take their assessment. And all the data is, their assessment data is here, right? And now the teacher, the facilitator, he also takes this tab and get connected to this box and do the all the work with whatever he has to do. For example, uh, register the student and calculation, whatever he has to do. Now, mm -hmm. all this data is here in this box, right? Mm -hmm. I unplug it. And I take this box where I have a mobile signal, okay, internet, and then it's connected to the internet. And I push one button, it transmits the data. When it transmits the data, the data comes to the cloud, an Azure cloud. And now I'm sitting here, I can see, okay, a child sitting in, in Sindh, a child sitting in KPK, a child sitting in Balochistan at Punjab, what is their learning? Curve? What did they learn? What are their score and grade based on their gender, based on their age, based on their religion, based on their ethnicity, based on their language, everything. So I know sitting here how they are. This is how it's working. And we call it a box, a school in a box. It's a very small box in a school. <laughs> school 